Hello, this is Lulu, Rachel, and Sarah, and today we'll be discussing how to use a NAND gate and how to build an inverter and an OR gate from NAND gates. Since the NAND 7400 chip is a popular logic chip, it is useful to be able to build a series of gates out of one chip. This is a skill that allows a user to only need one type of chip and gets rid of the need for multiple types of chips for each logic gate. The NAND gate is a simple logic gate that acts as an inverse of an AND gate. The NAND gate gives a logical positive for every combination except two positive inputs. Here's an example using a 740 NAND chip displaying the different logic states of the NAND gate. The yellow and green wires are the inputs and the white is the output, with red and black being positive 5 volts in ground, respectively. The NAND gate also has the unique ability to invert a signal and act as an inverter. Feeding the same signal into both inputs of a NAND circuit will result in the opposite signal. If both inputs are, both inputs are 1, the output will be 0 and vice versa. This function allows us to be able to build the inverse of any other circuit using only a NAND gate. Here is an example inverter, also using the 740 chip. Since an inverter only needs one input, the yellow wires represent the input which is inverted. When the switch is off, the light is on, and when the switch is on, the light is off. This shows the inverting behavior of the circuit. Creating an OR gate is a bit more difficult. The easiest way using NAND gates is to chain them as an ascending tree as shown. Each input is inverted and then fed into another NAND circuit. For two zero inputs, the final NAND receives two ones and returns a zero. For a zero and a one, the final NAND receives a one and zero, which receives a final output of one. This acts the same with the one and zero input switched, and finally two one input feeds two zeros to the final NAND, which returns a one output. Here is one last example using the 7400 showing the logic gates of the OR circuit. The wiring for this one is a bit more difficult, but it follows the circuit diagram and the true table we showed. The yellow and green wires acts as inputs again, and the white acts as output. We hope our video has been informative and useful. Thank you for watching!